Marco Polo discovered it in China a few centuries ago and we've been trying to unravel its secrets ever since. Pasta, the staple diet of Italy, regarded as a peasant food by the toffs in the north, but adored by the Sicilians. And you know what they say, when in Palermo... No, no, no. <laughs> Tomato. The Irish lads love a pasta. Cannelloni, Cascarino, Tagliatelli, Townsend and Macaroni McCarthy. But there's method in their madness. With all the hard training we're doing in, in this summer period, it gets us through the day, you know. It sounds simple enough, a mixture of eggs, flour and water, twisted and squeezed into any shape you want. But its energy-giving qualities have long been valued by marathon runners and Tour de France cyclists. Rude Hullet even wears it on his head. Rasta pasta. Seriously, though, the Dutch swear by it. Well, they like it, but sometimes it's a little bit too much when we <laughs> are in, coming back in, in Holland for a training camp and they, they get the first day at lunchtime uh, spaghetti, they say, well, there's that damn spaghetti again. <laughs> we have the lasagnas as well with the pasta, so it's uh, not just spaghetti. And the ravioli we have, so it's... Uh, it's You've gone through the card then? Oh, basically, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I love Italian food, you see, that's a great thing. Yes, Morris, I see what you mean. But that's the trouble with carbohydrates, you have to run around to get rid of them. It's come a long way, hasn't it, Jim, since we used to get it out of a tin and put it on a round of toast. There are a hundred different types of pasta you can get in Italy, as you well remember, but do you know one thing you can't get? Wholemeal pasta. No, they have to import that from Ipswich. This is Rigor Tony Francis wishing you buon appetito. Mmm.